want your old mom to miss the annual meeting and dance of the Honka Honka Elvis fan club now, would you? <laughs> Yes. Why does she think I asked? Oh, now, Bobby, don't... Yeah. Oh, honey. Then, uh... Oh, uh, maybe I don't feel good. Well, uh, maybe I, I could stay home with Bobby. Well, Howard, put a sock in it. You didn't get all dressed up as a skinny Elvis just to stay home. Well, Martha, I, 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 you know, I feel kind of silly. Oh, of course he didn't. <laughs> hey, we're in the dress-alike contest as before and after. And, you know, after me can't win without before him. Let's get going. You know, I got to shake. All right, let it roll. Hey, come on, show it in. Yeah. Bobby, you'll be fine. But, but what about Derek? He's always picking on me. Just wait till they're gone, dweeb. Then you're mine. Oh, Bobby, they're there now, then yet, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. Kelly's in charge, not Derek. Good night, Bobby. Okay, kids, be good now. My little mansy. Good night, hon. We'll see you in the AM. Wish us luck. Ha, gotcha! Noogie! There's nothing to be afraid of. Kelly's in charge. Not Derek. Derek. Derek! 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 Make way for Derek, the ruler in charge! Hey! Excuse me! Who said excuse me? Uh, me? But, but he, he, he shoved me into her. You're supposed to shove. It's the law. Shoving somebody is the law? I thought shoving somebody was bad. No, according to Derek, the ruler in charge, the worst crime in the world is touching somebody else's stuff. But what about, what about K K K Kelly? I thought she was in charge. <laughs> Where have you been, lad? Derek overthrew Kelly as soon as their mom and dad left the house. Ha, now he's in charge of everything! Ah! Bobby, I have got to put the twins totally to bed, okay? Go in the den and watch TV with Derek. The den? With Derek? Sit here, Bobby. I promise I'll be nice. When a big brother promises to be nice and smiles, it can only mean one thing, trouble. Gee, thanks, Derek, but uh, I'm gonna play in my room. <laughs> there, that'll keep Derek out. Now, what can I play, Roger? Hmm, let's see. No? No, that one takes two people. Soldier guys? Maybe. Wait a minute! That's it! My Captain Squash handheld video game! I haven't played Captain Squash versus the Ice King in a long time, Roger. <laughs> Help me, Bobby! I've got to defeat these Ice Centurions to get to level three! Sure, Captain Squash! <laughs> Nonsense, Bobby. There's never too many bad guys for a superhero to battle. Of course, I could be wrong. Take the Cape Zucchini and the warm-blooded intruder and throw them to the Ice Maker! I, I'm not sure what lies behind the door, Bobby. <laughs> That's okay, Captain Squash. Roger will get him. Bobby, Roger isn't in this game. He isn't? Yikes! <laughs> is... is Fun 
to play scary stuff until you're really scared. <laughs> Something. The secret to getting along with your brothers and sisters is never tell them something they can use against you. Well, what is your problem? Uh, I, I ran in the room because, um, because, because I had a great idea. Yeah, um, uh, let's rent a movie. Cool idea. No, duh. Look, I can't talk now, Tiff. I've got to go rent a movie. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Yeah, hey? Okay, like, is this a snack and stir? Okay, wait, cool. We want a large pizza and comedy. Get a cartoon movie! Get out, dweeb! Kelly, give me the phone! I want an action movie! Touch this phone and I will tell Mom. Uh, uh, I have an idea! What? Let's run three movies, one each. Cool one, Bobby. Score one for the Dorfmeister. I'll get it! Watch it, Dorkster! I am in charge here. Hello, I'm video expert Meeker, and this is pizza chef extraordinaire Snurdy. And together we are Snack and Stare. Here's your visual, Vittle. Yummers and your punch pleasers. Enjoy the evening of snacking <laughs> and staring. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Delivering videotapes with pizza, you, my friend, are a genius. It was your idea. I'm just a friend of a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you friend of a genius, you. <laughs> Start the movie, Bobby. Here we go. The. TV is broken. Oh, no. If the TV is broken, I'm going to have to go back to my room, where, where there's a monster waiting for me in the closet. What did you do, Bobby? I, I, I didn't do anything. Well, I guess I'll just keep an eye on the twins in my room while I talk to Tiffany and Andre out on the phone. I'm going out to the garage to work on my skateboard. Well, 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 what am I supposed to do? Why don't you get lost, shrimp? Kelly! Bobby, okay, try getting an original thought. Go in your room and play. There's no way I'm going into my room. Wait! What if, uh, what if, what if I tell you guys a movie? Wait a second, you're gonna tell us a movie? No way. Right, I bet he can. 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 No way. There's nothing better bet than starting a fight can. between your brother and sister. Bet he can. <laughs> okay, Kel, you're on. Loser does the dishes. What kind of movie should I tell first? Mine. I like comedies. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I know. Here's one Kelly will really like. It starts on a stormy night. What am I going to do? Tomorrow, my creation is to be a bride. You will get married to George. Wait, wait. <sighs> like, what movie is this supposed to be, Bobby? They call it Father of the Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Told you he couldn't do it. Okay, wait, wait, Bobby. Okay, like, try again, okay? Tell one of those, you know, funny police movie things. Funny police movie things? You know, like the one those guys who did Airplane and Top Secret did, the Zucker Brothers. Oh yeah, I like those guys. They do those naked movies. <sighs> naked gun movies, lame brain. Okay, okay. I'll call this one The Smell of Spies. Uh, naked Spies. Okay, now you're talking. It starts with a car chase. 
This is Lieutenant Bobby Dribble of Police Squad. Pull over. You're under arrest. You are driving too close to the center line. Are you some kind of nut? I'm the guy who paints the center line on the highway! Save your story for the judge. So, Lieutenant Dribble headed back to Police Squad headquarters to get his next assignment. Lieutenant, over here! What's up, Captain Uncle Ted Hacker? Need you on a case, Dribble. We just got a tip that some nutsy foreign spies want to kidnap the Queen of England at the Academy Awards. What's that? The Academy Awards, you know, the show that gives awards to movies. Uh, she's presenting the statuette for best crash in a movie. I really like crashes in movies. <laughs> So, Lieutenant Dribble and his partner, Captain Hacker, left Bully Squad headquarters in a hurry. <laughs> I'm gonna report a bank robbery in progress! I'm gonna report a bank robbery in progress! <laughs> you know what bugs me, Captain? Police Squad has to do everything. Citizens never help the police stop crime. Lieutenant Dribble and Captain Hacker have to get across the city to the Academy Awards. Fast! <laughs> One. Do you see the queen anywhere, Dribble? Dribble! What are you doing here, Jane? I need to speak to you. Dribble, this is no time to talk to your girlfriend! Dribble, I hope you're not still mad at me for leaving you to become an opera singing Major League Baseball umpire. <laughs> not at all. Jane, it just occurred to me, women should have the freedom to make their own career choices. You make me so happy, Dribble. I want to kiss you. Yuck! I'm going to skip the mushy part. I'm only five. Where are you going, dweeb? I have to go to the bathroom. Right there. I'll be right back. <laughs> Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was telling you my movie, The Smell of Naked Spies. Lieutenant Dribble had to stop the Queen from being kidnapped by a Nazi foreign spy. Dribble, there's the Queen! She's on stage! Cheerio. And now for the nominees for Best Crash in a Movie. The first nominee is like, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Beverly Hillbilly's Cut 3. Yeah, doggies, he's turning. Don't let him get away. Looks like we done found more bubbling crude, mister. The second nominee is the Fugitive Piano. May I have the envelope, please? Oh, excuse me, Darkoth. Hacker, the accountant. He's the kidnapper. <laughs> But the bad guy got away. No, he didn't. He tried to get away, but this ghost helped me capture him. Okay, what's with the ghost? <laughs> a ghost does not belong in a Zucker Brothers movie. Does too. It's from a movie done by one of the Zucker Brothers. <laughs> well, gee, Bobby, that was great, really. <laughs> but now it's time for bad. Oh, no. movie yet. He's right, Kelly. He only did your movie, not mine. I think that you are just trying to get out of doing the dishes. Shows what you know. There are no dishes. We had pizza. This better be good, dweeb. The movie opens. Way, 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 way in the future. There are all these really big robot guys. Lots of robot guys are blasted away by Captain Squatch. 
Take that and that, you buckets of bolts! The humans are cheating! They have help from Captain Squash. Well, I have a cheekily plan to send one of us back into the past to capture the little boy who has brought Captain Squash to help the humans touch and hold. Okay, like who should go? We will send our newest, strongest warrior, the Tedinator. <laughs> Oops, beg pardon. He looks like a robot. They'll see him coming a mile away. Time is short. We will disguise the Terminator as a human now. There yet. Hey, I'm the new kindergarten teacher. Where did the old teacher leave off? Well, we were listening to music from a great composer, Beethoven. I don't like dogs. Give me a minute to change and I'll come back to portray another famous composer. I'll be back. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There's no time to finish this movie. It is time for Bobby to go to bed. Look, Dweeb, I want to hear the ending tomorrow. And it better be exciting or I'm going to tickle you till you hurl. And big brothers wonder why little brothers are nervous around them. Okay, come on, Bobby. It's bedtime. Go to your room. Oh, but, but, but Kelly, there's, there's, there's a monster waiting in my closet. Okay, Bobby, now quit stalling or I'm going to tell Mom. Okay. Roger, what would Lieutenant Bobby Dribble or the Tedinator do if they had a monster in their closet? You guys! Captain Squash! What are you doing here? Since it's your imagination that got you into this fix, Bobby, I thought maybe we could help get you out. He's right, Bobby. Do what I do and face the fear. Then step on it! Easy for him to say. It can be that easy for you, too. You see, Bobby? Just as your imagination can create good guys like us, it can create bad guys like a monster in your closet. So the monster's not really there? Right! My imagination. Yikes! Oh, oh no, Roger! Maybe it's a real monster. Ah! Derek? It's worse than a monster. It's Derek. You're, you're not gonna tickle me, are you? Nope. I want you to finish telling me the kindergarten Terminator movie. You really like my story? Nah, not that much. I came here because I'm bored, not because I heard a noise in my closet. Got that? Maybe big brothers aren't so bad after all. Especially if they think they got monsters in their closet. <laughs> Derek, my boy, let me tell you what I do when I hear a noise in my closet. Well, that's the end of our show. No, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? Well. If it was the end of the show, we wouldn't be here anymore. And we're still here. But it is the end of the show. No, it's not. Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, when's the show gonna end? Well, that's hard to say. You see that? Now. <laughs>